Okay, hi everyone. This is just a very short tutorial to show you how to export your 3D model for 3D printing, but specifically for the ceramic 3D printer. So I'm just going to turn off all of my um, objects here except for my vase and I'll hide my environment box. Okay, so if I go into my vase, um, so I've got the, the one that I've applied where I've applied the modifiers and then I've got the one that still has the geometry nodes on it. I'm actually going to use the geometry nodes one here, so I'll hide the applied one. Okay, so if we look at our geometry nodes, as I mentioned, when we use a ceramic printer, the shape needs to be closed rather than open, and that's because the ceramic printer adds the depth, or adds the, the width, sorry, the thickness of the object just by the thickness of the ceramic extruder. Maybe I'll put a video at the end of this to show you the ceramic printer again. Okay, so if I go into my geometry nodes, it's quite easy. I just need to um, mute a few of the um, a few of the functions. So the first one is I look at the extrude mesh node. I press the letter M for mute, and we can see we've lost the thickness. And then I go to the delete geometry node and press M, also to remove that function that was just deleting the top of the original um, cylinder. So okay, now we have. Um, a shape that's ready to export. What I would do is I would just shift D to duplicate it and then left click. And with this one, I will, you know, I might even make a new collection and call it STL exports. Um, and I just might, I'll start making some vases. So I'll apply my geometry nodes. I don't need those old um, modifiers that weren't doing anything. Then I'll just check in my um, transforms and locations. I want to apply the scale, apply scale, and I'm going to put the location, all of this, to zero, so that we've got um, something with the rotations at zero, the location at zero, and the scale at one. Then I'm going to go File, Export, STL, which is Stereolithography, which is for 3D printing. And importantly, I'm going to tick this box that says Selection Only. Otherwise, we would accidentally export everything in our scene. So I'll just go into, I've made a folder here in my project directory called STL files, and I can call it PNVase4 export. Okay, then what I could do, I can go back to my geometry nodes and I can make another one. So if I look from the side here, you know, I can go and alter my profile, you know, something like that. You know, whatever you think looks kind of interesting. Maybe that looks kind of cool. Then I could also change my rotation resolution. So I've got this sort of triangle shape. And then I'm going to delete, uh, sorry, duplicate that. And then I've got another vase. And I'll put that in my STL exports. Um, one of the other modifiers we looked at in class was the simple deform modifier. And if I put this twist onto the Z axis, we can um, change this number. We can do stuff like that. Um, and look, it's a little hard to predict how these are going to work when we print them, but I think this is the fun part of doing something kind of different like ceramic 3D printing. We don't know how it's going to work, and that's part of the fun. Okay, so then I would just uh, move this one, grab it on the y-axis, make sure this one has its scale applied, so Command A, apply scale. Oh, sorry. Command A, apply scale. Why is that getting larger? That doesn't make sense to me. Something here is confusing me. Sorry guys, just let me check here. Apply scale. Why would it? Oh, I haven't applied my modifiers. Good lesson for that. Okay, so I've got to apply the geometry node modifier first. Apply, um, and then apply my deform, and now I can apply my scale. Okay, all right. Apply scale, and then I'll just put it back to the zero location. Okay, so zero, 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 scale is one, that's good. And then I'll go file, export, STL, PNVs number five, make sure that's ticked, selection only, and click export. Okay, so for class, um, our first ceramics class, just make a whole bunch and, um, you know, hopefully we have enough time to give a whole lot of them a try. Okay, and at the, vid at the end of this video, I might put some footage of the ceramic 3D printer to remind you what it looks like. Okay, bye-bye.